Hi, it's AI time again. I'm going to test to see if AI can actually, or whatever, you know, AI, whatever uh, various tools out there now, there's countless ones of them that can actually recreate a person's voice. You know, a de they can deep fake a voice. They can, you give it all the learning material, because that's what AI are. They're basically uh, machine learning uh, type algorithms, you know, chat GPT and everything else. But these voice ones, are, like, they can be very convincing. I've heard some incredibly convincing, um, like deep fakes of people's voices. So I thought, there's thousands of hours of my voice out there. Can I train an AI, uh, some algorithm to actually, uh, you know, fake my voice? To just give it the text, you, you train it, and then you give it the text. Can it actually read like me? Is it possible? So I'm trying out various tools. This is the first uh, cab off the rank. Somebody mentioned this one. Uh, this is Eleven Labs, uh, a voice technology research company developing the most compelling AI speech software for publishers and creators. Uh, our goal is to instantly convert spoken audio between languages. Well, I, I'm not going to test the languages uh, thing, but well, maybe I could. But uh, yeah, I just want to see, can it convert text? Train my voice and then convert text to speech. We build a new text-to-speech model which relies on high compression and context understanding to render human speech ultra-realistically. Our tools finally provide the necessary quality for voice in news, newsletters, books, and videos. We also offer a suitable suite of tools for voice cloning and designing synthetic voices. For release later this year, we'll let users automatically revoice any audio or video in a different language while providing the original speaker's voice. Now, I actually had, I'll link it in down below, I had a company contact me. I don't know what technology they were using whether it was this or whether it was something had they had their I think they had their own tech or something and uh, they uh, I released a German uh, thing and it couldn't even get the t text to speech let alone learning my voice and you hearing my voice in German and apparently can change the lips as well um, and they just they actually admitted I uploaded my video all my all my German viewers gave all the feedback and they said nah nah this is just way off it it just doesn't get it let alone trying to use my voice so the text to speech didn't even work and I showed the company and they went yeah it's pretty crap we'll work on it and we'll get back to you <laughs> anyway let's give Eleven Labs a go it was founded in 2022 uh, by Pure an ex Google machine learning engineer so what I'm going to do is I'm going to speak just a random Wikipedia article on the transistor. So I'm just going to, I copied this paragraph in, which I have not uh, read before, so I'll do it live for the first time now. And here's my uh, Eleven Labs account. So what I did, here's one of the problems, is that uh, you can only feed it a 10 megabyte file. You can feed it 25 10 megabyte files and all of my videos were longer than that. So I found a couple of latest short ones. I found EVBLAB 111 um, and then EVBLAB 110. And you can go and listen to those. So they, they're the training material it used. They're about seven, eight minutes each. It claims to only need, it tells you here, providing more than five minutes of audio in total brings little improvement. So I've given it 18 minutes of audio, right? So based on its own rules, right, it should have more than enough to simulate and, you know, to clone my voice, but it did, it does it instantly. There was no processing time. I'm using another tool at the moment that is still processing. Like, you know, it, it's going to take days. It could even take a week to actually process my uh, voice. So, and it used much more information. So I've trained it using those two files, using this exact uh, microphone in this exact position, location, distance, everything else. So it should be pretty realistic, okay? Well, it, it shouldn't, like, I've given it the best possible opportunity to do this, okay? Right, gave it this text, and we can play it, but I will play my voice first, okay? So I will now read this. <clears throat> Here we go. My best day voice. I don't read scripts, so this is going to be pretty dry, right? It's not going to have my same, the same inflection on words and stuff that I normally have, but I'll try and read it pretty straight, okay? Here we go. A transistor is a semiconductor device used to amplify or switch electrical signals and power. It is one of the basic building blocks of modern electronics. It is composed of semiconductor material, usually with at least three terminals for connection to an electronic circuit. A voltage or current applied to one pair of the transistor's terminals controls the current through the other pair of terminals. Because the controlled output power can be higher than the control in input power, a transistor can amplify a signal. Some transistors are packaged individually, but many more in miniature form are found embedded in integrated circuits. 
there you go. How boring was that? Okay, that was me reading a script. <laughs> I could sure, I'm sure I could read it with some more vigor, you know, if I really wanted to, but I'm, I'm going to try and match what, what it has. Now, of course, I didn't train it on the word transistor and, uh, you know, voltage and current. Pro probably, I don't know, you'd have to watch those videos to see if I actually said those words. So it's probably breaking it down into phonemes and doing whatever. Now, I'm going to play you what it produced. Here we go. Here's the test of 11 labs. <laughs> Can it get the Aussie accent? A transistor is a semiconductor device used to amplify or switch electrical signals and power. It is one of the basic building blocks of modern electronics. It is composed of semiconductor material, usually with at least three terminals for connection to an electronic circuit. A voltage or current applied to one pair of the transistor's terminals controls the current through another pair of terminals. Because the controlled output power can be higher than the controlling input power, a transistor can amplify a signal. Some transistors are packaged individually, but many more in miniature form are found embedded in integrated circuits. No way. That is an epic fail in my book. Like, like it sounds like, yeah, there's not much, you know, inflection, intonation, all that, whatever, you know, all that vocally stuff in there. It sounds like somebody's reading a script. As a voice, it actually sounds okay, I guess, but it's not me. It is certainly not me. So 11 labs, nut, nah, thumbs down, fail on my Aussie voice. Um, it, it just does not work at all. Now, I couldn't, it, to me, that sounds English. It sounds British right? It has a British twang to it. And I couldn't place it until somebody on Twitter, I posted this on Twitter, and, and somebody came back and said, it is Russell Brand doing an impersonation of me. And bingo, that's exactly what it sounds like. It sounds like Russell Brand. Um, go and listen to Russell Brand and then imagine Russell Brand doing an impersonation of me. Hello there, you 6.4 million Awakening Wonders. Thanks for joining us on this voyage to truth and freedom. Truth that will not be easily won in a world that tells you that it's interested in freedom of speech. So yeah, it... To me, that's not even close. But some people on Twitter said, oh, yeah, it sounds like you, but it just sounds boring and reading the script. And I'm, I do not hear. And I listen to my voice. Unfortunately, I have to listen to my voice every day, right, editing my videos. And it, it does not sound like me. It has got a British, you can kind of see where it's coming from. You can see maybe it was, you know, trained on my voice. You might be able to think maybe. But I can't see how anyone could think. That's my voice. But anyway, leave it in the comments down below. How do you rate it? Rate it out of 10, please. Rate it out of 10. Uh, for And I'll do this for all different tools up upcoming. How does 11 labs perform? Rate it out of 10. 10 being the best, you know. Oh, yeah, that's definitely Dave. I can't pick the difference to, you know, one a shit house or whatever, right? I'd, I'd, I'd rate that like a three or something. That is not me, as in how realistically it is me. Don't worry about the fact that it's... You know, it sounds like it's reading a script or whatever. So I've got my clone day voice. I'm sure it actually sounds quite good with with, with its pre-made voices and stuff. But the the cloning thing is the one I want to test. So let's actually try this. Yes, let's use pre-made Adam. I don't know what Adam sounds like, but let's 11 monolingual version one, and then they've got this experimental version one, but that's for different languages and stuff. So you've got stability and clarity plus plus similarity enhancement. I just left those to default on mine. So I'll leave it to default on here. And let's actually generate it, shall we? And see if Adam is better than clone. Sister is a semiconductor device used to amplify. Whoa, it has a problem with audio level. It didn't level my voice out. That's a, that's a problem. Anyway, here we go. A transistor is a semiconductor device used to amplify or switch electrical signals and power. It is one of the basic building blocks of modern electronics. It is composed of semiconductor material, usually with at least three terminals for connection to an electronic circuit. A voltage or current applied to one pair of the transistor's terminals controls the current through another pair of terminals. So there you go. Like, it, like it, it's quite impressive. It does a reasonable job, but you can tell that sort of, you know, a computer AI-generated voice. It's like those uh, YouTube channels that I've done a video on. I'll link it in if you haven't seen it. That sort of, like, spews out all that content. And it's just a, a computer-generated voice. It doesn't sound that natural. You know, it's that uncanny, uncanny valley kind of thing. It's almost there. But not quite. I mean, it sounds pretty good. It's very impressive, but I, you can still kind of tell, no, nah, that's not really a human, a good human reading a script. So anyway, leave your thoughts and comments and rating out of 10 down below for <laughs> 11 Labs Cloned Dave. Catch you next time.